National Hispanic Heritage Month, so we're celebrating the culture and contributions of our Hispanic and Latino neighbors. Today, WBZ's Katrina Kincaid takes us to Lawrence, where a sweet tooth for success has carried the owner of a bakery through life. When she was a baby and we have passing all those difficult times and I was seeing, looking at her and she was crying one day, it was like, Oh, my sweet Grace, my sweet Grace. Seven years ago, Denaris opened up her bakery, Sweet Grace Heavenly Cakes, named after her daughter. But getting here was rocky. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of effort. And you don't, if you don't have someone who supporting your back, it's very difficult. And sometimes you need someone to remind you you can do it. In 2009, she was pregnant after seven miscarriages with a high-risk pregnancy. Her husband had been laid off, and they were bankrupt. After having her baby, she went back to work to pay off their debts. One day, my mother came to my house, and she was like, I know you're having a difficult time. Get this $35 thing. Go and buy grocery. But instead, she used the money to learn and make a family flan recipe and sell it to her co-workers. I saw five small ones that day, and I did the same thing the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And the end of the month, I was getting money to pay my bills, to help my husband, to, to get um, gas for the car. Was very amazing. So amazing that she realized she had a business on her hands. She was introduced to a woman who taught her how to make cakes, and the rest is cakestery. You never give up. Never give up if you have an idea. Dinaris moved to Puerto Rico from the Dominican Republic when she was five, eventually moving to Lawrence, living in an attic and not knowing any English. She now gives back to her community, employing 18 people, all from Lawrence, all Latinos, and all a family. In Lawrence, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.